Hey beauties, good afternoon to you, or good evening rather, I should say. All right, I'm seeing this sort of very much a big stink as it relates to Orlando Terry Long's uh, post where for um, notably in some people's eyes, not necessarily so in others, that's fine. Uh, prime ministers, former prime ministers, um, the Honorable P.J. Patterson, uh, the Honorable, most Honorable Portia Simpson Miller. I don't remember if it's some with most are Honorable. Just work with me, people. The Honorable um, Bruce Golding, or the most Honorable Bruce Golding. And uh, yeah, he said not to say most. I don't remember. And I think it was it the Honorable Edward Siaga. Somebody else. from Two from JLP, two from PNP. You know, past um prime ministers and uh, because Zelando Teller Long is aligned to the Jamaica Labour Party, what had happened with his social media post was that like a flag was blocked was blocking out the faces of the portraits of the two PNP former PNP Prime Ministers, Portia Simpson Miller and PJ Patterson, you know. Um it is an unfortunate situation. I don't know a land or terror long to be like that i follow his post because i mean when i see young fairly young uh men on both sides you know i follow you know um some of the younger ones on both sides whether pnp or jlp and if i think that they're doing well i will you know sort of laud and praise their work and he alongside others i've sometimes named them on different posts and i see where he has been trying you know um in relation to his ministry and uh, yes i've seen where he has been trying you know i've commended him a few times as a release of literally helping students and people and giving back and so on you know um one of the things we should do is lose the laws of induction and deduction meaning you look at the facts all right the fact is that uh the picture was blotted out the two pictures they were blotted out I know that a number of media people or personnel or, you know, what they want to call them, politicians, social media influencers, popular people, they have uh, social media managers, people who manages their page, post for them, do this, edit, whatever it is. And maybe Alando has somebody that runs his page, which I believe because he's not, it's not synonymous. It's not uncommon, sorry, to people who are popular, even unpopular people, you know, they hire somebody, pay somebody because, you know, these people are good with knowing how to market your page, you know, and how to make it look good and sell yourself to the people, so to speak, and get you out there even more. So, um, I can understand that maybe this was something that could have been done behind his back, you know, because uh, the person may know his, uh, obviously the person, you know, knows his party affiliation and all of that. The only i mean i'm not here to chide mr terry long the only thing that i would say is that you know mr terry long has to be extremely vigilant um i don't know if it is that you trust normally when you hire these people is it that you don't you, you said to yourself i trust you i don't even have to look i just will look to see what is posted or you you know as humans we still have our taste we still have our preference we still want we still even if somebody's good you're going to say all right, I like what you do. I know your work. You're very good, but let me see it before you post it. You know, there are people like that. There are leaders and managers and even regular people who are like that. They tr they have a trusted personnel, but they say, still, before you, you send it off, let me look at it from different spheres. You know, so I don't know. Obviously, based on how you speak, you said you didn't know of it. You would not have done that because subsequently, I mean, or bef after that, you had posted a picture with the um former prime minister, Miss. Mrs. Portia Simpson Miller hugging you up and so on, and there was a smile, and so on. So um, I using induction. I can't say I and and even the laws of induction and deduction together. I don't know if I can do that, but I don't see Mister Terry Long really doing something like that. To be honest, I would more see him with the pictures up there because how in in other words, blocking it out doesn't take away from the fact that they were prime ministers. They were prime ministers. They they contributed to the to the country, to the growth and to the development in some way, form or fashion. Whether you think they contributed to the destruction or not, they contributed to the growth and development for them to even get to the post of prime ministership. You know, so it would be very very puerile. It would be like a simpleton. Um, he's he's an educated guy. I don't really 
see him doing this. And the reason why I'm bringing up, I wasn't going to do a video, is that I was surprised when I saw Kamina Johnson, um, you know who I'm talking to, Minister um, their Foreign Affairs, speaking that this. She says she kind of surprised. You know, she says, unfortunate. Why, why just unfortunate? He apologized. He kind of got rid of the person who did it. Try to you make amends, sort of thing, and still it's almost like people beating him same way. Um, I don't know. There's something with us as Jamaicans. What we have to do when I say use the laws of deduction and induction is it something that you see him generally do, and it doesn't matter which side because I like people on from both sides of the party. I've often said that, so I tell people don't label me any of them. You know, sometimes people swear I think I'm PNP, something I'm jam. No, I'm me. I am me. You know. Um, you'll use that. Look at it. Do you normally see him do something like that? Um, where he will, you know, you have pictures of maybe PNP people and he blocks them out. Um, uh, when you do his, when you look at the type of work does, that he does, does he leave the people out who he knows maybe belong to or subscribe to, um, advocate for the People's National Party? These are the things that we need to look at beautiful people. It's not good that as somebody slip, you pull the rug to help them not just slide, but to drop and bust them head. We have that problem here in Jamaica. We just, we're ready to just kill people. It's like a spirit of murder. We have to just balance it. All right, we're upset. Hold them accountable if you even, but don't try and it's almost like there is sort of a, vit not just a vitriol, like a sort of something sinister, like we just take pleasure in sinking people. It is plagued. With, I mean, a plethora of people on the net doing things like this. So what you need to do is, is this something synonymous with him? For example, his his colleague, one particular colleague, if it was done by one particular colleague, oh, we don't need to call that big man's name, you know? Then you could have said, oh, Lord, I could have understand how to chide him. I could have understand how to reprimand him, cuss him and all of that. Although it would, it would have still prove fruit, uh, fruit, sorry, futile or fruitless. But I, I've, I've, as I said, it's a, it's a gentleman that I follow. Generally, he posts about his family, his wife, and children, and um, you see him helping other people or his parents and so on. It is generally something good. I've not really heard his name call up into something, like negative, like he's, you know. I mean, obviously, the two sides will will um big up their own political side. We're not talking like that. But I've not, you know, heard him doing that. And two people, he quickly. I've just. Watch him, simple as that. Correct him, you corrected him, you chided him, you beat him already. You don't need to beat him again. It's like you pick me, if you pick me, do wrong, you know, beat him today. Then tomorrow you come back and beat him on the same. Then tomorrow you're going to defuse. Um, and, or, and or, sorry, you're going to defeat the purpose. You're going to defeat the purpose. You won't, you won't, he, he won't watch your accountability anymore. It won't mean anything to him or her. You know, so as I said, I, um, I would have left it alone. I was going to leave it alone and say, all right. Boy, that's a big, big blunder by Mr. Terrellong. He said it wasn't him. It was somebody else. I hope is what you're saying is true, you know, because I realize sometimes we have a way of not taking responsibility. You know, we don't like to answer to other people. So we throw people under the bus, Mr. Terrellong. You know, I like you as a politician. Um, I, 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 if you continue on the same path and just continue to improve and help the Jamaican people, whether you're PNP, JLP, UIC, DDP, I don't care where you fall, you and you continue on that path, then you know your name can go down as one of the great politicians, like similar to like a Julian Robinson, you know Damian Crawford in terms of education and helping students, you know, um, even the other one that people saw, keep bringing back, back bringing up at that time. Thing with the whole um disaster under the disaster management act when he breached it uh, your colleague there oh god i follow him as well i you know floyd green i think he's still good in his ministry he does work you know um so i mean uh, people just give him the benefit of the doubt in the interim he apologized he got rid of the person you know tried his best that's what he can do. he can't take back what happened you know, so don't use your political affiliation to, to kill him because you don't, you can't stand them. So any little thing, just anything them do, you just come at them, with, you know, bring them to the stakes. No, you look at, as I said, use the laws of induction and deduction. Is this something that he has done before in similar manner? Do you find that this is his way, his modus of operandi, his way of living, his culture? 
you know if not then we are prone to wonder prone to make mistakes and prone to just not be, think guys follow me on tiktok subscribe to my youtube channel please share this message